Good evening, everyone. JP Land here, and we are attending night two of Halloween Horror Nights. Tonight, they gave us a map. They didn't have it for the first night that we were here, but we do have it for the second night, so that already made my visit worth it. There's only one haunted house I haven't done quite yet, and that's Universal Monsters Unmasked. I'm not gonna be doing it right now, but it is a part of our Stay and Scream area, and so a part of this Stay and Scream area, we have Last of Us, Monsters Unmasked, and Dr. Oddfellow's uh, Circus of Doom. Yeah. Is that what it's called? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm like, yeah, I remembered. They have so many original haunted houses here and all of their haunted houses, for the most part, are different than the ones in Hollywood. So I still haven't memorized all the names quite yet, but I do have a general understanding of where they all are at and what the, what, what the name of the maze starts with. So Oddfellow is the, the easiest one to remember for me out of all of the original houses. And then the hardest one for me to remember is Darkest Deal. Deal. Yeah, okay. It seems pretty easy to remember, but it's, it's really difficult when you're coming from Hollywood where we don't have any of these mazes. Alrighty, everyone. It is now 5.30 p.m. And we are moving forward. Looks like they've cleared out most of the park. The park closes at 5 p.m on nights of horror nights. Don't want to jinx it, but we have some clear skies right now, some clouds here and there, but nothing scary, nothing to be scared about. Maybe down there, but I don't think it's gonna rain here. The ultimate goal tonight is to see the Megan Horde as well as uh, monsters, because those are the two things I missed on my first night here. If you hear that whistling, it's odd fellow. He's around. He's near us. And we're heading to The Last of Us right now. Also, during Horror Nights, they switch out the prizes. So it looks like they're putting up some Chucky and Tiffany prizes here. Over there, we have uh, Mummy, Dracula, Wolfman, Gilman, and then Stay Puff Marshmallow all throughout this area. Very cool. I'm so excited. Guys, I'm more excited than the first night. I think it's because there's no rain right now. Here we go. It opens at 5.45, so in just a few minutes here. Afterwards, I might go to Oddfellow directly or Monsters. We'll, we'll see what happens. Whatever has the shortest wait, but Monsters I really have to do tonight because that's the last maze. That's the last maze. Just take in the ambiance of Darkest Deal. It's so spooky. It really sets this eerie and creepy tone before entering the haunted house. I just really like it. You hear the, the devil laughing, and the narration before entering, and it just, oh, it's so good, it's so good. That haunted house is amazing. I wish it was here every year. And then here we are at the Last of Us haunted house, looking like a 30 minute-ish wait, maybe a little less right now. Small update, we've been waiting for roughly 20 minutes. Since there aren't that many people doing express right now, Q is moving so fast. My approximation was about right. I said 30 minutes. It was, uh, it's been 30 minutes. It's been 29 specifically, but... Okay, that was really good. Uh, the first time I went around, I actually didn't really like the house, uh, but this time around, I feel like I was just a little more attentive about what was happening the first time. I was just admiring the, the scenic and everything, but this time it was a little more scary. It might either be that or um, the first time I went through it was towards the end of the night, so maybe the scare actors didn't have as much energy. Monsters was, keyword was, a short wait. By the time it took us to exit The Last of Us, it became a long wait. So 
it's it's pretty unfortunate. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna try. It might be like an, a 20 minute wait at this point. Ah, what did I say? <laughs> 20 minutes. Now it's 25. Okay, so let, let's go through. Might as well. This is the only maze we haven't gone through. I don't really know if they use Slash's music out here in Florida, but hopefully they do. I'm really excited to hear the new tracks he made for the maze. After this one, I'm probably gonna head over to Darkest Deal, just because that was one of my favorites. But it depends, actually. It depends on the shortest wait. If Oddfellow is shorter, I know that's gonna be a longer wait later in the night, so maybe we might do Oddfellow and then Darkest Deal. Regardless, I think I'm gonna try to get through everything. This is maze two of 10. We have quite a bit to go. The line while we were trying to exit for Last of Us was quite literally half of the half of this queue. But luckily there's not much ahead of us. It's literally just one turn. So far, not too bad. We've waited 13 minutes to reach this point. I did want to talk about Express a little because I noticed that the Express queue was almost as long as the regular queue. And that's why I didn't end up buying Express again tonight. I noticed that it just wasn't worth it. I, even with Express, I wasn't able to get through all the haunted houses on Friday. So I just decided not to buy it tonight. We'll see how many mazes we could hit. Honestly, I don't think they're gonna be playing Slash's music here. They've been playing this weird drum loop for the past like hour. So that's obviously an overstatement. <laughs> it sounds weird. It's funny how they do their cast changes like this. They just have the scare actors walk through. At least they stop the queue a bit. So you wouldn't see uh, duplicates. That's something you would see in Hollywood. Oh my goodness. Look at this one. That's so spooky. 22 minute wait for this one. Not bad. That was insane. That was arguably one of the best Universal Monster houses I've seen in my life. Since 2018. 2018 was my first time going through like a Universal Monsters house. This was amazing. They built cities in there. They had um, one of the scare actors on bungees and he would like slide down. They did a really, really good job with that. That was so good. Although the first half was very, very dark um, and I, I got some good scares in there. All right, so the next haunted house I'm headed to right now is Darkest Deal. It's posted at a 35 minute wait. Um, usually that wait time goes by a lot faster than the posted wait time, especially after Friday. Friday was atrocious, so we'll see how it is today. The one thing I wish with these haunted houses is that they were better lit. Um, they create some beautiful sets, but it's so dark in each haunted house that you can't really appreciate that set design. You can't really see much. I don't know. Maybe they'll fix it later on in the event, but I don't know. Right now I'm heading over to Darkest Deal. Hopefully it's still posted at a 35 minute wait. I think afterwards I'm gonna head into the scare zones. Well, there's still a little bit of light outside. That way we could see things a little better. I saw pictures of the scare zones in the daytime and the masks look terrifying. So can't wait to see that. And now it's an hour wait. So I'll skip it for now. We'll, we'll head down to another maze. Take a look at Oddfellow's wait time as well. Oddfellow is 65 minute wait. All right, well, we'll just walk around, I suppose. Might as well make a quick stop to Diagon Alley, see if the Death Eaters are out. I've been wanting to see them for the longest time. Last time I saw them was in July, so it's been a minute. It's so cool how you could enter Diagon Alley like this. Let's see, I see some fog out, but no Death Eaters. The music is definitely different. When we were here on Friday, the Death Eaters were not out at all. Maybe they're around here, we could take a look. They still have a lot of fog machines and some stages set up.
What an entrance, that was so cool. Death theaters are walking around now, interacting with guests, same way they would do in uh, Hogsmeade, in both Hollywood and in Florida, but this time in Diagon Alley. Kind of a separate or a different entrance. All right, I'm gonna head into this ice cream shop. I'm not sure if it's open. I really want butterbeer soft serve right now. Oh yeah, I think it's open. Let's go. So good. So now that I got my butterbeer ice cream, I'm gonna wait in line for something. This gives me a lot of energy. If they had this in Hollywood, it would be dangerous. I'd be getting this like every other day. All right, we're walking through this scare zone in the daytime now, so we'll be able to see their masks a little better. Holy smokes. What is that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. All I know is this is crazy. Holy cow, Chucky is 75 minutes. Oh my goodness. This is such a vibe. This scare zone is amazing. That was the greatest thing that just ever happened. Oh, oh my God, I'm in loss of words. I was walking, the vampire walked up to me. He's like, run, Drapey, run. And I was like, what? How do you know my name? How do you know my name? What is happening? Be careful, there's vampires. <laughs> oh, that's, that's gross. Don't eat hearts. Behind you! Oh my gosh. Sir, do you need a band aid? I need a band aid, man. Do you have a first aid kit, man? I think I do. I'll, I'll go check in the back. Oh, no! No! I know. <laughs> that scare zone and the butterbeer soft syrup was a vibe. I'm trying to find which maze I should hit next. I'm going to bite the bullet and wait in line for ex Exorcist. 60 minutes, so it's not like that bad. It's only an hour. They're playing the FNAF trailer right now. And the sky looks surreal right now. This is, this is crazy. There's Rip Ride Rocket. We'll see how long this queue takes. We're moving pretty quick. Okay, the wait time wasn't bad at all. I waited 15 minutes at a posted 65 minute wait, or 60 minute wait, which is crazy. That was really good though. Exorcist is solid. Um, a lot of movie spoilers though inside of the, inside of the haunted house, so. If you don't really want to be spoiled, you can wait. Uh, I would say it's one of the better haunted houses though. The other wait times are a lot higher. Stranger Thing is 90 minutes. Uh, the other two back here, Yeti and uh, Dueling Dragons are 70 minutes. I don't know, it's kind of a hit or miss on both. I did Exorcist because I knew that was going to be a good maze and it would be worth the wait. But if it's actually 70 minutes for Dueling Dragons, I wouldn't wait. Um, 70 minutes for Yeti would be fine. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna do Yeti. Campground kills, 70 minutes. Oh man, I love this. These are so cool. The gobos they set up are awesome here. Let's see how long it takes for Yeti. Posted 70 minute wait. Uh, this one is moving a little slower than Exorcist. All right, for this one, I waited 30 minutes with a 70 minute wait time. So, not bad. All right, now it's a little darker outside. I have to say, the wait times aren't terrible. 75 minutes it was, or 70 minutes it was posted. I waited 30 minutes. I bet it's similar with all the other mazes. Uh, like straight, I mean, Exorcist, 
it said uh, 60 minutes and I waited 15. So, I mean, that's solid. What's going on up here? I like how all the actors are so into this. So awesome. Such a vibe. I just keep mixing up the guests with the actors. Like sometimes the actors run up and try to scare me and I keep thinking they're guests because they're just kind of wearing normal clothes. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> now walking through Jungle of Doom. Oh wow, look at that. It's a pterodactyl. <laughs> That's awesome. I love this scare zone. It's so cool. <laughs> this is so cool. I wish we had something like this in Hollywood. Just like pure jungle. <laughs> Look at these props. So cool. So I'm walking over to Darkest Deal. It says 60 minutes. I mean, not terrible, right? I think it might be like 25 to 30 minutes actually, but we'll find out. I know I've been probably getting really lucky with these wait times. We'll see what happens. I know there's gonna be a, a maze or stairs or whatever, haunted house. I have to get in the habit of saying haunted house here. I know there's gonna be a haunted house where I just end up waiting an hour or an hour and a half for. Look at the DeLorean, they leave it lit at night. It's so awesome. They're able to switch up the music here in Springfield to this like creepy circus music. And I heard that they usually have clowns with chainsaws here as well, but I'm not seeing any right now. I wish they could do something like this in Hollywood though. The atmosphere is just spot on. It, it just depends on the area you're at. Like by Men in Black, they play like, this super creepy music. That's Oddfellow's whistle. Oh, it's so good. That's so good. Transitions are crazy. I pay attention to all the little details, so that's why I've been comparing a lot of things from here to Hollywood, even down to the music. There's also this account called HHN Music that me and a few friends run, and we try to recreate music around Horror Nights and uh, some of the theme parks, primarily Horror Nights in Hollywood. But this whole trip, I've been going around filming audio. I've been trying to find the songs uh, so I can find a way to upload them to that channel. But this current song, I didn't have a hard time finding. They use a lot of copyrighted music, so that's why I talk so uh, loud over the, over the mic so I don't get copyrighted. Here we go, 60 minutes for Darkest Deal. Let's see, let's see. Out of all the houses, this one is my favorite, so I wouldn't mind waiting in line for it. So, more or less, a 20 minute wait with a 60 minute posted wait time. Not bad at all. I might go through this a few times tonight. Great house, great house. I just really hope that on Tuesday when I go to Horror Nights Hollywood, it doesn't feel underwhelming compared to these haunted houses because they're going hard. They go hard on their haunted houses here in Florida. 75 minute wait for Oddfellow. I mean, well, let's see, we've had pretty good luck. We've had pretty, pretty good luck. And this one doesn't really have that many switchbacks. It's just straight. So we'll see. We'll see if 75 minutes is true. Oh yeah, nightmare feel is happening right now. I need to watch it at some point tonight. By the way, this will be house six of the night. It's only 9.30 right now. So I'm doing pretty good when it comes down to time. I only have four more houses after this one. They've been giving me these tickets throughout the night and they said if I need to use the restroom, I could leave with this, but I need to meet up with someone in my party. I'm like, I'm alone, what's the point? And then supposedly they're supposed to collect it at the end of the maze or at the end of the line, but they haven't been doing, they haven't been doing that. Well, so far this queue is much shorter than how long it was on Friday. I don't know how this is 75 minutes, but I mean, all right, I'll take it. I'll take it. 
Although there are a few switchbacks here, so this might be like 20 minutes. All right, made it to the front. Literally a 12 minute wait when it said 75 minutes. That's insane. And there we go, we're at the front of the line. Literally a 15 minute wait. I can't believe it. I bought Express on Friday and I waited a lot longer. And on top of it, the lines seem significantly worse tonight than they did on Friday. Friday, it seemed like everyone stayed home due to the rain. But the longest I waited with Express was an hour for The Last of Us. I really like, I really like how they add a projector to make it seem like you're entering a circus tent. It's the small things that count. Just got out of Dr. Oddfellows. I thought it was okay this time around. It was scarier the first time I went in. This time I didn't really get that many scares, but it's okay, it was really good. Very busy in this section. I'd imagine it's because of nightmare fuel, it just ended, so there might be just a lot of people exiting right now. I genuinely think they put the wrong number in front of that five, unless that is a one. <laughs> it was a 15 minute wait. I only have about four more houses to hit. I don't want to do Ch Chucky again just because I didn't really like it. And then same with um, Dueling Dragons. I thought that was more targeted towards the fans. I'm mostly here to get scared. So I'm, I'm going to skip those two tonight. So uh, I want to try Blood Moon again. And what else do we have left? Oh yeah, Stranger Things. I'm going to take a quick break though from going through the haunted houses. We have about four or five more hours of the event. So now I'm just gonna chill, enjoy everything the event has to offer. There's little photo ops. And we could check out the Peacock Halloween Horror Bar. We're gonna have this in LA actually. So I wonder how this compares to the one in LA. Guys, I was literally just sitting here relaxing and I ran into some of you guys. So we're here with Brandon and Brian. Brian. So guys, it's really fun. If y'all coming to Halloween Hornets in Orlando, you should do it. But you should go to both parks if you get the chance. And make sure to like and subscribe to JP. Thank you. Thank you. Really good videos. Have, have you guys gone through all the houses yet? We only went to Stranger Things and Chucky. Oh, oh, okay. So I, I'd imagine Stranger Things was, was way better, really right? Really good. What'd That's you think about Chucky? It was, it it's was, all right. it was I love scary. the show, you know, obviously. Oh, but, well. <laughs> Is that the themes and how it looks like it was good. Like I, I found the Easter eggs and everything, but did it really scare me? No, it scared me. No. Yeah, 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 something got you? I see you have the Chucky popcorn bucket. Does it blink and stuff? Yeah, but I don't know how it works. I was oh, really? Yeah. I think you say, hey, Chucky. Hey, Chucky. Uh, oh, yeah. hey, Chucky. Oh, it's working. That's sick. And I think right. he blinks too. Hey, Chucky. There you go. <laughs> That's sick. Yeah, you just say, hey, Chucky, and he starts moving. All right, man. It was nice meeting you guys. Have a good one. Take care. Boom. Boom. <laughs> See you guys. Again, always nice meeting you guys and running into you guys. I actually wasn't expecting to be seen out there. I just found a little Easter egg here. On the other side of this little truck, it says Oddfellow Trade Market or Mart Trading and Import. That's cool. They have Oddfellow all over the place. And if you see any scare actors with a scratch on their eye, that's Oddfellow in disguise. And I don't know if this is him or not. He has the Zodiac signs on him. I think that, oh, that might be, that might be him. I can't tell what is happening in here. Oh, geez, ew, 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 that's crazy. I hope a scare actor doesn't jump out here. That'd be terrifying. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have a scare actor jump out here. That'd be that'd be terrifying. There he is. Oh, don't worry about him. He's just taking a much needed nap. Do you wish to be immortal? 
I said, do you wish to live forever? <laughs> then do I have something for you. <laughs> you. You. Me? Okay, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Of course. What is your name? JP. JP, now what side are you? Good side. The Zodiac, my dear boy. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Good. So you have no sign that binds you? Not yet, at least. My dear friend, you can overcome this by joining me. Okay. Do you wish to be an immortal creature? I do. Then it will only cost you one thing. What? Why, your very soul. All right. <laughs> what do you say? Yes. You must all be like this one here. <laughs> Give away your soul. Do away with such pesky things. And I will give you immortality. Who here wishes to give me their souls? I see we have those still afraid. The doubters, the weak in the crowd. And to you I say this. If you cannot overcome fear, if you cannot let go of your soul, then I have no need of you. Okay, I, I was not expecting him to pick me out of everyone. Why me? I don't know what I said yes to, to be honest. All right, so this is how I'm taking my break. Came over to Minion Cafe and ordered three items off the kid menu because they're so cheap and uh, worth it. Guys, we went hard. We went hard. By the way, we're here with Juan and um, I forgot your name. No, I'm just kidding, Xavier. <laughs> I went hard. <laughs> All right, here we go. He's going to give us the real review. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's a real review. It's fire. One to ten. To Eleven. Oof. It's a little dry, but still, it tastes amazing. All right. Got a Carl's cauliflower. Uh, there you go. Appreciate you. All right. Thank you, Xavier. I also love these little bananas. <laughs> and then they, they have minion-shaped tater tots. This is hilarious. What'd you get? The cauliflower. The cauliflower. There we go. And why is the rice blue? You tell me. I don't know. <laughs> I know as much as you do. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Well, enjoy. Appreciate you, bro. So right now we're in line for Blood Moon, our eighth yeah. house of the night, and Jake showed up. Made it. How's your hand? Everyone's wondering. We're getting back to normal. We got some bruising, but we'll show that when we get some light. <laughs> we're getting better. That's good. Jake, how'd you like uh, Blood Moon? I thought it was quite nice. Um, it's pretty scary and the sets were impressive. They were large and they had a moon in the middle of the haunted house that you could see it the whole time. You could look up, it was actually a red blood moon and that was a nice touch. They, they, they did a really good job with that. I didn't pay attention the first time I went through because I was just looking down the whole time. I thought I was gonna trip. Um, but towards the end of the maze, there's this huge monster. They turned- it's massive, it's like 15 feet tall. <laughs> it's huge. And then uh, after that, there's a bunch of mannequins and real people, and I, that freaked me out. I ran out of the he house. Was great. JP jumped so much. Like anything that's questionable, this guy's. There was just one that. room. It would draw. I guess it was a drop panel or something, yeah, like but the, it was just so loud. The plywood like hits the floor. Boom. It was so loud that I, I just dropped. But let, me, let me interview you. Okay. All right. Oh, we're attached. Like that. All right. Now you've seen a few Orlando houses, and you've seen many Hollywood houses. What are like some major differences that you notice? Set design and how large the haunted houses could get here uh, compared to Hollywood. I understand these haunted houses are in sound stages, but we also get sound stage haunted houses and they're not to that scale. Yeah, so definitely I feel like when we're in Hollywood, we're kind of zigzagging back and forth through through like mazes and, and hence the name mazes. Yeah. And here you have more of these exposed open sets. And I agree, that's like the biggest difference I've seen. Not only that, but also I like how creative they get with the scares here. Like in the Blood Moon Haunted House, for example, they had a, an open hallway and you could see to the left of it and they had a mirror 
and a and a pillar. I don't know how if that makes sense. So it was like sense. if you're walking towards it, you just see the mirror. And yeah, you, you see the mirror, and you don't expect the person to jump out behind the mirror, but you you don't know it's a mirror. It just looks like a hallway. Very, yeah. And they jump out behind the mirror, and that freaked me out. I'm <laughs> like, what? And then uh, in the Universal Monsters maze today, there's this guy on a bungee cord jumping up and down, and he jumped right in front of me and popped back up, and that wow. was terrifying. I gotta check that, that one out. Really really good they did a good job with that one as well that was probably the best universal monsters haunted house i've seen Damn. out of all of them <laughs> wow i gotta get to that one yeah right now we're in line for stranger things yeah very nice <laughs> <laughs> this guy's missing an arm Cool. Is that something that's here every year? Not every year, but it's like one of our many icons of uh, HHN fans. It has a really um, funny audio trigger inside the. But the whole bear the thing kind of became a thing in Horror Nights 25 in the 25 Years House. The bear came out, and everyone would chant "bear, bear, bear," and the bear would dance. So now it's like a little <laughs> thing that people like. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that's funny. Crazy. By the way, it's 2:09 now. We've been waiting for like 40 minutes now. The stranger, the stranger Things queue is rough. It's a long haunted house, so it's kind of like a, a big conga line in there. We're close, we're close. Yeah, they're, they're trying to push us through really fast. The Stranger Things wait time was pretty accurate. It said 65 minutes. It's been 50, so... Well, it's okay. This is the last house of the night. And after this house, I've gone through nine houses. And I skipped Chucky for obvious reasons. Alright, we just got done with the Stranger Things house. That was so good. I, I thought it was really awesome. Again, first night, I was suffering. It was raining, I was freezing, I just didn't pay attention. But it was scary, it was good. Um, There's a rock band. They, they, yeah, they had a rock. They had uh, Dustin and uh, Eddie playing the guitar. Uh, they had Master of Puppets playing. They had um, the running up the hill scene. They had the upside down. They had the scene where the earth was just exploding. It's it's so good. It it's cool. so good. The details were spot on. Like the, JP and I both looked up at the ceiling and we were staring at another room up in the ceiling. Yeah. Oh, and there was a part where the guy you saw the projection mapping on yeah. his heart. Yeah. And then, and then like, the, like, he exploded. Yeah, and fog shot down from the ceiling all over him. Like that is detail. Right I didn't there. think that one was gonna be scary. It, it scared me a lot. <laughs> it scared me a lot. They're they're so clever with their scares here. Don't don't get too scared, JP. We're going near the, the pop banana stand. <laughs> Okay. I, I'm so sad I didn't get to try banana flavored popcorn. Uh, it's not whatever. I saw they have like banana beer here. Oh, okay. I gotta try it next time. Banana <laughs> beer sounds like, sounds interesting, but I like beer. So but I think this is where we're gonna wrap up our video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm JP, that's Jake, and how we say in the movies, that's a wrap. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. All right, guys, we're not ending the vlog quite yet. We're driving down I Drive. We're here with Jake. Yeah. If you guys watched that first Orlando vlog, he gave us a little tour of uh, Winter Park. Now we're getting a little tour of I Drive. Yeah. <laughs> we're not going to. On Dairy Queen, on our right, it's one of few Dairy Queens in Orlando. Great establishment. Uh, My friend works at that uh, at a Dairy Queen, not at this one. There it is in the corner right there. Wow. Yeah. Most Dairy Queens are partnered with uh, Orange. Shoot, I forgot it's... Oh. I know what you're talking about. Though. Orange... Hold on, I'll be right back. Yeah, most of them are, are partnered with Orange Julius, so they make, like, smoothies and stuff that are really healthy. It's ironic, because it's a ice cream place and yeah, so it's pretty, nice and pretty fattening. Yeah. <laughs> what is this, Gator Golf? Gator Golf, very fine establishment. But actually, we're coming up... We got a little... Maybe a bar fight over here at Buffalo Wild Wings. Oh, yeah, that was probably a car meet. 
It was definitely a car meet. Get to a uh, abandoned mini golf course before we get to McDonald's. Huh. Afro Television Studio. The Juicy Crab. <laughs> Titanic Artifact Exhibition. This place looks like it burned down. That was like a, I think it was a laser tag. CC's Pizza. Also very fine establishment. <laughs> wow. Sexy things. Yeah. I'm screaming. Uh, that was interesting. Is this like the more touristy area of Orlando? It is. Oh, is that the Orlando Eye over there? That's the Orlando Eye. I messed up. We passed the mini golf course, but it's no. McDonald's. Oh, this is the world's largest McDonald's, by the way. I think they, they kind of do a, a playoff words here. They call it the world's largest entertainment McDonald's. But what the heck's entertainment McDonald's mean? So it's just a, a big McDonald's, but I don't think it's actually the world's biggest one. But it's the world's biggest entertainment McDonald's. So take that as you would. Um, oh, but we are across the street from the world's largest checkers. What's a checkers? It's like a burger fast food restaurant. I just watched those gas prices go up right now. Okay, it, it was like four twenty nine. Now it's four thirty nine. By the way, look at the gas prices here. It's ridiculous. Three sixty nine. That's so cheap. <gasps> look. 369 and then it went to 355 oh, shit, 59 oh should we go inside yeah uh, let's go inside if it's open yeah it's definitely open i saw the door opening yeah there's people inside <laughs> it's like everyone decided to come here directly after horror nights i mean it's like the only place that's open right now yeah taco bell's closed is checkers open checkers closes at three and in, in five minutes oh wow oh yeah we probably would have made that yeah, this is, this is crazy. The They're probably freaking out. The team members are like, whoa, what has happened? Big fish, big fish. <laughs> big fish. <laughs> Great fish. That's funny. And then they have their own little area for McCafe. This is so crazy. This is one of the only McDonald's to sell pizza. I don't know if the pizza is open right now. Yeah, definitely not open. Those bananas look fairly old but yeah they sell pizza here and it looks like they have waffle makers they have pasta they serve pasta here it's a little pricey it's a little pricey uh, pizza it said starting at $15 but it, it disappeared it says all day breakfast <laughs> no all day breakfast <laughs> um what do I get, dude? I don't know. Chicken McNuggets. I don't like McNuggets. They used to be good, and then... Fries? Uh, I guess I'll get a fry. Yeah. Great establishment. <laughs> Why do you keep saying that? Borat. Oh. All right. <laughs> We each, we each a cookie. Okay. This is so random. This is such a random addition to our vlog here. <laughs> now, how long do you think the order is going to take? 30 minutes. Probably. Yeah. Look at how many people are, are coming in. Well, actually, they have a lot of workers. Maybe, maybe less. 